Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Car Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and today we have for you a 2003 Jaguar X-Type. It's got the two and a half litre six cylinder engine, and this is actually a pretty special car. It's a limited edition Mark Weber edition, and it does have some additional features, like the alloy wheels. It's got special wood grain, which is different to all the other X-Types. It even says 250 kilometers an hour on the speedo. Uh, it's got bucket seats, electric seats. It's got the unique Mark Webber badging down the bottom of the door there. So it is a genuine Mark Webber edition. These are very reliable. The two and a half liter six cylinder engine is, we're told, the pick of the engines. The 2.1 liter is a front wheel drive um, and the two and a half litre comes with the all wheel drive system and it's just a lot more reliable. The black leather interior is in very good condition for its age. Uh, the body's in good condition, it's got very good tyres to it. Looking down the side it looks very straight. The two and a half litre comes with a twin exhaust system. But yeah, we think something like this represents excellent value, especially when you consider these were about $80,000 when they were new. Uh, we've sold quite a few of these, and as I mentioned earlier in the video, we've found the two and a half litre to be the best. The three litres, you know, it's almost a bit unnecessary. They're good at an S-type, but, um, it's almost too big for something of this size. A two and a half litre engine is perfect, coupled with the five speed transmission. It's got all its log books, does have a spare key. I believe these um, are chain driven as well, as opposed to having a timing belt, which is great news. No one likes changing their timing belts on their Volkswagen or Audi or Peugeot at a cost of $1,200 or more. It's also got the the mesh grille, a unique colour obviously as you can see, and it's got driving lights. So if you have been looking for an X-Type, we think something like this is pretty good, it's a bit different, um, they are quite rare. I personally love the colour combination and the timber work. Um, it's registered until March 2015, it's got a load of receipts in the glove box, so it has been very well looked after. Um, and just finishing up it does have a small rear spoiler as well which looks great so if you have been looking at one of these please come and have a look take it for a drive we're very proud to offer this car here at the old timer center in marrickville thank you so